हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय योर प्रोग्रामिंग क्लब टुडे वी विल बी सॉल्विंग अनदर डेली लीड कोड प्रॉब्लम एंड द प्रॉब्लम्स नेम इज हमारे प्रोडक्ट लेस देन के सो यू आर गिवन एन इंटीजर अरे ओके and nums and you will be given an integer k you have to return the number of contiguous subarrays where the product of all the elements in that subarray is strictly less than k okay let's have a look at the constraints before thinking of an approach so the length of the nums array that we will be given to you will be of order 10 is to power 4 and every entry in this num array is from 1 to 1000 ranging from 1 to 1000 and case values can be ranging from 0 to 10 raised to power 6 so let's see how we can solve this particular problem we will try to solve it in the most optimal way possible so what we will be doing is let's take one of these examples i think this should be fine or uh, if there is a bigger example we can take that okay it is not there anyways let's take it okay so let's mark the indices 0 1 2 and 3 okay so you will be having a two pointer kind of approach or more specifically sliding window first of all those of you who do not know what a subarray is subarray is contiguous part of an array so this can be a subarray this can also be a subarray this can also be a subarray uh, the only condition is that that part of subarray should be uh, contiguous i mean you cannot have 10 and then 2 you are missing 5 in between okay so this is not a subarray so the condition is that that part should be contiguous okay so number of contiguous subarrays or if you want or more details on subarrays i can give you this article's link okay mm, there are different terms subarray substring subsequence and they are differentiated here so you can check it out definitely now moving back towards question how we will be approaching this to approach this particular problem what we will be doing is first of all we will be using a sliding window approach those of you who are not familiar with sliding window approach in this approach what we do is we take two pointers let's call this pointer as left and let's call this one as right okay so one of these pointers moves ahead of other pointer okay so this right pointer will be moving from the very first you know uh, very first number in the array from left hand side to right hand side okay and left will be either equal to this right pointer at the same position equal to this right pointer or will be behind it okay it will never exceed right pointer so this there is a window kind of structure like between these two okay so that is what we are after and we will have another variable let's call this product okay 
now for this product uh what we will be doing is we will be initializing it value to one then along with each number traversed from left to right direction with the help of right pointer we will update this product okay now when we will be at 10 this product will become 10 okay and we have seen that this and uh, let's see what's the value of k that was given it was 100 k was 100 so we will see whether k is less than you know k is greater than or equal to product so if that's the case then you will take all uh, take all the elements uh, that are between left and right what i mean by this is uh left right my uh i mean all, the number of elements between left and right inclusive both uh, of the elements pointed by these two will be the subarrays which are having you know product less than uh strictly less than k okay so you will add those number of subarrays to your answer you will have another variable answer and you will keep updating it uh, with what, what value right minus left plus one because you know every array every number in that range can be an individual subarray okay so that's why you know that would be helping us and uh, other than that since your right pointer will be moving one step at a time all the subarrays which are even more than one length will also be counted by this way okay so you can have a dry run of this particular one let's do that first of all you will left will be at very first index and right will be also there your product is as of now 10 which is by the way less than 100 so you will count this as a summary that is having product uh, you know less than uh, k uh, strictly less than k so this summary is being counted then your right will move ahead it will become product will become 50 50 is still less than 100 so this array is being counted okay i mean 10 was already counted so you will count 5 extra and this uh, whole array 10 and 5 so what things are already counted first 10 was counted now you are counting 5 and uh, this 10 and 5 okay so these two subarrays are being counted then you will move your right further so product as of now 50 into 2 will become 100 so it reaches 100 now comes the interesting part you will shrink your window size how can you shrink your window size you will for that what you will do you will fix your right at uh, where, uh, where it is now, right now you will not move it you will move your left towards right and this window size will keep on shrinking okay so like this 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 uh, left can be at these positions and these are the different window sizes you mean uh, i mean you can see that window size is shrinking as light left is moving towards right okay so while you are moving left towards right you will also keep dividing the numbers represented by right what i mean by this is right now your product is 100 by the way and your right is at 2 okay so situation is like this 10 5 2 right is here and left is here and your product is 100 by the way so you will keep moving left towards this direction before moving your left towards this direction you will divide it by 10 which is the number represented by left obviously so as soon as your 
k becomes greater than equal to product you will stop right there or uh, your left and right becomes equal in that condition also you will stop so after dividing by 10 product will be 10 okay so right now what you will be doing is uh, uh, you will be again taking this portion as your uh, you know con current window and uh, this 2 and 5 will also be I mean four, 5 is already counted so this 2 is counted and then this whole array is counted okay so in similar fashion I mean how many times we have uh, done the counting this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 let me change color here and uh, this is 4 and this is 5 okay 5 times and your uh, search will continue like this only okay uh, now when your right will be at this uh, it will be 60 so 60 is well within the bounds of this 100 so again your left will be at 5 and uh, your right will be at 6 okay so again you will be doing uh, similar stuff 6 will be counted then 2 and 6 will be counted okay and then 5 and 2 and then 6 also counted okay so similarly you will keep going on and this thing will continue so as you can see uh, with help of this particular thing uh, right minus left plus one we are able to count all the subarrays okay some uh, subarrays are counted uh, single ones are counted while you know uh, uh, some single subarrays are counted uh, and some you know single subarrays i mean subarrays of length one and subarrays of more than uh, length more than one are also counted here so this is the approach let's see how we can implement it so this is the implementation uh, let me replace it with product or more specifically current product okay yeah so left and right pointer will initially start at the 0th index and your current product value will be initially set to 1 then you will continue this whole thing till your right pointer reaches to the very end of the array and you first of all you will update the current product's value by multiplying it whatever the number is at the right uh, the, the whatever the number is uh, number right pointer is pointing to okay then if that is the case that uh, your current product is not within the bounds of k uh, not strictly less than k and left also happens to be less than equal to right then you will you know keep doing this decreasing your window size okay uh, decreasing your window size and if left and right are you know at correct positions i mean left have not exceeded your right and it is still less than equal to right I, it means that you are having a valid window uh, it means that we are having a valid window okay so if you are having a valid window then for sure you can count the number of subarrays in that particular window that have no, all, not already been counted so you will add the number that we are 
uh, you know required to add to the server account and you will just simply grow your uh, window size here okay you can say okay and at last you will be returning your server account so that's pretty much it i mean this is the whole logic and uh, how we will implement that so you should be having a dry run i would suggest so that you will be able to observe that we are getting almost all the uh, uh, not almost all the sub arrays that are there which are having product less than equal to k so this is how we are achieving it and if you are still having any doubts or any queries in general then you may ask them in the comment section i uh, might have you know done some mistake while uh, illustrating you the working of this in dry run please ignore that if i have done that okay uh, i think you were able to get the you know whole logic behind using this particular thing specifically okay uh, that was the main concern here to make you understand how this right minus left is giving us all the server accounts and how shrinking window size is helping us i mean this part shrinking window size and uh, in, a, in a way growing the window size is also helping us to count so these two things are there so yeah anyways if any doubts are left please feel free to ask them in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day ahead